Our hidden cameras are rolling as these moms watch to see what their daughters will do when they witness this girl You're being bullied. <gasps> Again, the bully, her accomplice, and the victim are actresses we hired. They're just pretending. Sarah's mom thinks she knows how her daughter will react. She's going to be the observer, and then she's going to probably step back. And then she'll talk about it for three hours when we get home. <laughs> Jackie's mom says her daughter has confronted bullies before. She has. It's absolutely happened. I don't know if she would do that for somebody she doesn't know. I'm not sure. So let's see what happens. Remember, they think they're auditioning for a reality TV show called Generation Gap. Our producer asks them to play some video games and pick the one they think they're best at. Everybody has to play, and you're going to have about 15 minutes, okay? I'm watching with the parents and parenting expert Michelle Borba. I'll be right outside if you need me. Okay. Okay, that's important. She just said, if you need me for anything, I'm right outside. We want the girls to know there is an adult close by in case they need one. Our actress wastes no time and begins her verbal attack. Well, I don't really want to play with you anymore, so you come back and you go out. play with her. And right away, Jackie and Sarah take notice. Why are you guys so mean to her? She doesn't yeah. know how to play. Neither so, do I. Yeah. yeah, but you're better you're than, really than she is. So? When the bullying continues... She's failing majorly. It's like terrible. Jackie again calls it like she sees it. That's so mean. <laughs> Jackie's face. What do you think? I think she doesn't like what she's doing, that's for sure. Jackie's used the word mean at least twice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. two or three times. You're so and mean. You're so and mean. you're seeing distress on her face. It's so mean. <laughs> now, watch what Sarah does. She is helpless. She tries to get the group to focus on something else. Anyone else know how hot it is outside? Again? Oh my gosh, this does smell good. And again. Yes. I want her to sit over there. I love the smell of Arakami and Arrow. Oh my gosh. She keeps trying to change the subject. Yeah, she doesn't like confrontation, so she's going to try to keep it status quo. Sarah may not know it, but according to our expert, she's using an important anti-bullying technique. Called distraction. Yeah. Distraction is one way that you could pull uh, a bully away from a group. Then Jackie and Sarah try to stick up for our victim. Well, obviously Shane's not interacting well with anybody because she's not talking at all. She's talking to me and Jackie. Yeah. You keep commenting on her and you're making her feel bad. Yeah. It's not nice to make fun of her either. Our bully is relentless. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Eventually the girls seem to give up, ignoring both the bully and the victim. Let me show you. Shane is an A. I know. This is B. Now it's time to stop the bullying. Will any of the girls tell our producer what's been going on? How'd it go? Yay! Not a word. So Hello. what were they thinking? Hi, girls. <laughs> My name is Kate Snow, and I am with Dateline NBC. I tell them there is no reality show, instead a lesson for all of us on how to deal with bullies. These three girls are actors. They're in on it with us. B is actually not a big jerk. <laughs> she was pretending to be, and they're friends. You both spoke up against B. You said you're being mean. Like I'm, I'm coming in like not knowing anyone, so I was kind of just yeah. trying to like, kind of like defend her, but not like start something. You know what you kept doing, Sarah? You kept changing the subject. Yeah. You're like, how about that Wii game? <laughs> Another thing they could have tried, befriending the victim, which our expert Borba says can sometimes be just as effective as standing up to the bully. She role plays with them how to do it. Be mean as you were, and this time, watch what she does. You're a loser. Perfect, stop. You don't have to say anything, but I want you to at least start walking a little closer over to this girl. You can either stand next to her, or you can put your arm around her. You can do something quiet. Okay. And look at the smile on her face already. Let's try it again. We escort our next group of kids into the room wired with hidden cameras. You need to go through the game. But this time the actors we hired are boys, a bully, his helper, and a victim. Again, the other three kids think they're here to try out for a reality TV show. I'm Alex. And my name is Jessica. I'm Lucy. Their parents will be watching what they do. Like all the other parents, Alex's mom says they talk about bullying, but usually only when it comes up. 
It's definitely an issue in the school. They try to educate the kids about it. Jessica was the target of bullying when she switched schools last year. That must have been really hard as a mom. It was, it was terrible. It was truly terrible. Will Jessica's first-hand experience make her more likely to step up? Hopefully she will try to support whoever is being bullied because she's been there. And what about this girl, Lucy? She just won her school's eighth grade character award given to the student who's most likely to lend a helping hand. She is really outgoing, very kind to everybody to everybody she meets. Still, as much as this dad thinks he knows his daughter's heart, he's curious to see her in action when she has no idea she's being watched. I think she's probably going to go to the person being bullied and kind of get him out of the situation. And I'd be surprised if she didn't do something. So this is going to be interesting. Again, the group is instructed to play video games to prepare for the reality show competition. Our actor bully jumps right in. Do you have the way? I find I spend too much of my time on Facebook. But the bully has barely gotten a word in, just one snide comment that the victim is no good at this video game, when Lucy fires back. You're playing. Come on. You're, who's next? That's not good. Don't be mean. I'm not going to be mean. In fact, just as her dad predicted, Lucy quickly befriends our victim. Come on, we're going to win this, Max. I love her. I love her. Don't be mean. And over and over, she firmly stands up to the bully. I mean, is he bad at this or is he... Okay, uh, stop with what? it! Oh, stop! You're being annoying! I'm not making fun of him. I'm just saying the fact that he's not going to win. That's rude. You shouldn't be saying that about people. What's more, she tries to reason with the bully while showing concern for the victim's feelings. You see how you're getting your feelings hurt? Like, I'm not trying to be rude to you, but like seriously, no, I mean, I'm one to stand up for people. And if you were getting picked on, I would stand up for you. You're getting your feelings. She's amazing. Lucy's performance has an effect on the group. Watch how it gives Jessica the confidence to step in. Stop being mean to people. Well, not being mean. You are being mean. She's covering his mouth. Because of one child activating it, the other one steps in. And that's how you mobilize it. Lucy stepped in there and got in his face, right? She's still doing it. And when our producer returns, Lucy doesn't hesitate to tell an adult exactly what's been going on. Um, he's getting made fun of. And it's not... I don't, I'm trying to stick up for him and he's screaming at me. Before she gets too mad, we break the news that the bullying was just an act. So these guys are actors, and you actually like each other. Lucy, kind to the end, even apologizes to our actor. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. So how do we teach our children to be more like the kids we've met tonight? Borba says the most important thing is to set a good example. By the way, it's the average kid who doesn't step in. And when we go, ah, well, it's also the average adult who doesn't step in. And start talking about bullying with your kids before it starts. I do think you did a wonderful job. When they're young, way before middle school. We reunite the families from both groups, a proud parenting moment. And when Lucy is met by her dad, she's overcome with emotion. I am so incredibly proud of the way you stood up for Max. You did, it, it just comes so naturally to you. And we're all happy that she's showing kids it's okay to do the right thing.